If a day in the sand and the sun is what you enjoy, then the Houghton Lake area is the place for you. With dozens of resort, motels, and lodges right on the water and many more public beaches and picnic areas, you will have your pick of the right beach for you. There are great public beaches that include swimming, children's toys, barbecue pits, and sheltered picnic areas, and even some have showers and toilets. Dave Batchelor of Great Lakes Windsurfing, located in Higgins Lake, was going to take me on a journey that would test me physically. Well, Dave's going to have his work cut out for him today because uh, I've never been a, on a, a windsurfing board or any kind of a board out here in the water. So uh, this, it's, he's kind of telling me about it a little bit. He says uh, you kind of dance with it a little bit. Well, I'm a lousy dancer. Well, that means <laughs> so this is going to be a chore. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a chore. We're going to find out how good he is. Dave, maybe you could explain some of the equipment and what we're going to go through. Sure. Hey, man, you got your arms straight. Your hips are in and your knees are bent. That's perfect position. That's perfect. If you okay. There, you're going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Somebody keep an eye on me, okay? <laughs> uh, there's no rescue boats. <laughs> this is live. Real. <laughs> okay. okay. You ready? The I, I'm ready. All right, dude. Dave went on to explain each part of our gear. He started with the sail, showed us the boom, the mast, and the board. Dave went into the all important details from where you should be in relationship to the wind and how to pull it up in the water. Dave prefers days when the winds are 30 to 40 miles an hour that would take him right out onto the water. Well, I had gone through my learning course and was ready to head into the water. As I stood in the water and watched, Dave got on the board first to help me get started. It was the perfect day on this lake called one of the most beautiful in the world few scattered clouds with temperatures in the 80s, and of course, a strong west wind. As you gazed across the lake, you could see many other surfers enjoying the day. Today also brought out the boaters, families, and fishermen. I was working hard learning this sport and was determined not to let it win. I almost gave up a couple of times as I fell back into the water. Finally, I was up, but not for long. And I tried and tried and Wait, wait, here I go. I'm windsurfing. Wow, what a fantastic feeling. So long, see you soon.